combining expertise, reflecting on a team approach to curriculum development and implementation by Jean M. Bailey and Linda C. Perkowski, Central Michigan University. This article discusses curriculum development and implementation using a unique collaboration of basic scientists and clinicians functioning as co-course directors. It explores the pros, cons, and unintended consequences of this integrated approach through reflections of the faculty involved. Central Michigan University's College of Medicine welcomed its inaugural class of medical students in the fall of 2013. As a new medical school, faculty were tasked with the development of an 18-month pre-clerkship curriculum that was objectives-based, utilized patient or community-focused cases, and integrated the foundational sciences and clinical sciences throughout the curriculum. Faculty were to employ multiple learner-centered, active instructional strategies in both large and small group sessions. Specifically, the curriculum consisted of a semester-long foundational sciences of medicine course, seven organ systems courses, a capstone synapse course, and three longitudinal courses. During the curriculum development process, and later during the implementation of the curriculum, faculty worked in assigned teams composed of basic scientists and clinicians. These teams were led by co-course directors, one basic scientist and one clinician. This article shares the reflections of faculty involved in curriculum development and implementation based on the collaboration of basic scientists and clinicians functioning as co-course directors. Through semi-structured interviews, the faculty address the pros and cons of this approach and highlight the unintended consequences resulting from this collaboration. Lessons learned from this article may inform future curriculum practices and guide the selection of faculty who will lead development or redesign and implementation at other new or existing institutions.